Object oriented as in block oriented, as yeah. in as in like if I put a block here and put a redstone torch on it, that's now going to be a, a, a an XNOR gate, which yeah. is like a physical gate on on a uh, on a on a memory circuit. If you were right. going to like yeah. pull out, yeah. Well, this is uh, Brian. This is the education of Minecraft to Ron from Chad. Oh, dude, I, I'm not going to lie. Bonnie and I were downstairs watching this, and in fact, I was kind of hoping we'd run late because uh, because of the debates. Apparently, people are watching. They're two like guys arguing over. Oh yeah, who yeah. Her saw that on the twitters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, we were glad to see something of educational value on the Twit Network instead. <laughs> this good, is good. fascinating, Brian. It's fascinating. <laughs> Do you, are Dude, you, I, are you really as ignorant of of Minecraft as you're making out to be? That's so hard for me to believe. Oh no, no, no! I'm not. This isn't. This isn't an act. This is. This is. So while Chad, I mean, again, I don't mean. I mean, like, yeah. I, I, I have. This is. This is the moment in time where I got old. Once Minecraft, <laughs> like this is. This is the marker. You know, put the flag down. This is where me, the grumpy old man. I have no idea about any of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, dude, no, I, I love I love the parallels that Chad was making about this is the uh, this is the new virtual makers. I mean, you got to remember that the kids today who are playing with this stuff are going to be the engineers and visionaries of the future because they don't have a Radio Shack kit. Right. They've, they've never heard of Radio Shack and they don't have the resources to buy actual metal to melt. They can oh. get this for free. And they can explore and expand their world. I remember my dad got me this Radio Shack kit that was like this box with a bunch of springs and lights and the speaker. Dude, 101 kit, 151, 201. Yeah. Total of those. I went and looked online to get one for Penny. It's freaking $200. You're I'm kidding like, hey. me, really? Yeah, dude. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. You can oh. stuff your capacitors. <laughs> I'll buy Minecraft for 25 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Go redstoning. Or, or not even buy it, you know. Right. <laughs> the truth comes out. Um, like, yeah, you know, like, like you could play it for free, can't you? Or do you have to pay no. for it now? Uh, you can play the demo version, which is only classic for like twenty and it minutes. Gives you an ad. Do you say it's only classic? Yeah, it's like it's like you if you were going to play, um, <laughs> crap, uh, Wing crap. Commander. Oh man, I want to play Wing Commander. Are you insulting me by pretending like that's the but, only but like what you really want to do is play like X like like the newest Xbox release and like you're all excited to get like a 3D world and then it's Wing Commander like Wait a minute, 2D. wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you talking about Wing Commander in a bad light? Wing Commander was yes, awesome. Yes. It's an it's old been, version it, of the game is what I'm saying. No, it's like old. listening to the jazz music. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into that, <laughs> Oh my God! This is where the generation Wait, Chad, did you ever happened. did you ever play Wing Commander? Have you ever? I did you ever play Wing Commander. Down In fact, a Kilrathi oh. as your stop. Stop. as your advisor and friend. I commit. I implore you to stop talking because it's it funny never, when I played Wing Commander. Generation, it's not working. He just told you to stop. I know, I know. <laughs> Our, my processor was too good for the game, so like I would join the game and I'd go, <laughs> and then I die, and I was like, God. Dang it! I can't play this game. Oh man, it's amazing. I love that game, man. There was a real heyday of PC gaming in like 1992 to like 1995, 96. Dude, Wing you Command and I are the only people who would regard that as a heyday, and I loved it. I loved. It. I got a P90, a Pentium 90, so I could run a uh, Wing Commander in 640 by 480. Yep. All the other sucker MCs mm. rocking Dude. in 320 by 240. Dude, when I got my Sound Blaster 32. Oh, dude! Wait, Sound Blaster Thirty Two. You're talking about the AWE with advanced wave synthesis, Floppy. dude. Yes. I'll tell you what. I traded in my Gravis Ultrasound. No always regretted it. <laughs> dude, when I got my when I got my US Robotics uh, thirty eight point four uh, Courier HST modem. Dude, did I ever tell you about the scam I used to run? No. I bought a US Robotics twenty eight eight. Yep. And uh, and then like two days later. The 56K came out, and I was just like, man, I don't want to run a 28. I don't want to run a 56K. And then I noticed that they had the exact same molded plastic chassis, and the only thing different was the sticker on one to the other. So I just bought another a 56K. I switched the bezels, and I returned the 56K to, uh, to Best Buy. Uh, or, I mean, I returned the 56K to Best Buy. And then I did it again when they upgraded to P9 or V90, and I was so pissed about it. I felt like morally righteous, but 
Um, I make no bones about it. That was just old school physical piracy. Well, that, that's like I used to there watching you shop, by the way. Um, I used to um, back in. I'm looking for boots, okay? Do you, do you, re- do you remember, do you remember hey, when. Out, boots on the internet? Yeah. Those giant boots. Brian, do, Brian <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember when Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 came out for Super Nintendo? And yes. do you remember when it was like $74.99? Sure, it was sure. Ex- it was an expensive game. Really so we would go to Toys R Us like, and we would buy it. You know, like and then we'd take it home and we'd it. put a crappy game in the box, <laughs> shrink wrap it, bring it back. And Toys R Us used to pay ca- like used to do returns and cash. The cash? Yeah, it was great. It was so we just we cranked through like eight. Of, we made money off the deal. It was awesome. I dropped my Palm Pilot once and oh, it broke, but you couldn't see a crack. Mm-hmm. So I went and bought a new Palm Pilot and then and then swapped it, returned it. Yep. We called it the, the problem was is I worked for an uh, an extended warranty company at the time, and we would do all the time what they call advanced exchanges. We wouldn't actually fix anything. We would just send out a new unit and then have them send out the send back the other one. So I called it a user-initiated advanced exchange, nice. and I figured it's all good. It's just a user-initiated advanced exchange. <laughs> oh, those are the days, my friend. It's those, all different those now. Were- Days. It's all pixels. Those are the days that go suck it because they sucked. I'm so glad living now in the future. Ah, this is, I have a certain nostalgia about the, those days. No, I like there now. Was nothing good about those days. They were old and slow and stupid. <laughs> now, the only thing, if I have to trade, I don't care if my skin has to sag off my face and I have to cut out new holes in my skin to peek through because my eyebrows have flopped on down to here. If the technology is better, then in here is free. That's all that matters. Oh. Screw this. We're luminous beings we are, not this crude matter. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't argue that. <laughs> I busted out some Yoda logic on you. you all did, right, let man. me Johnson and see if I can get him on the line. He's going to dis- I, I I give 50-50 odds that when I call Scott Johnson, he actually has his eyes drooping down and eyes holes cut out. Is Justin not on the show today? No, he is. He is. He is. I'm calling. Uh, I'm uh, Justin will not be freaked out that we're running late, but that's why I'm calling Scott first. Is uh, yeah. hmm. I don't know if he is. All right. I think we're almost is, to dinner. So Justin's Ooh. not there. He's not physically there. Oh, the return of the opinion minions. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk politics, people. Uh-oh. So Bye. Let's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Politics. <laughs> Come back. I was, this is my new political talk show, Opinion Minions. You got one, Opinion Minion. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Chad, <laughs> how did your golden boy Obama fare in this contest? My Obama? golden boy? <laughs> I don't know. You voted for Obama, didn't you? Uh, I did. It was before he sold out. It was... I mean, in oh. that race, that was definitely the right choice. <laughs> For, in my opinions. Yeah. My what, opinion what? minions. Hello, what? Oh, Talk- the tides have turned. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so controlled by another opinion minion. <laughs> uh, hey, Scott, how you doing, man? I'm good, dude. How are you? I'm doing so good. I'm so glad that you were flexible. Sorry we screwed everything around eight ways from from no, sideways dude all good it turned out fine we ended up having a huge brainstorm and it would have kind of made it hard to go where we needed to go anyway so yeah. it all worked out right on yeah well, let me get uh professor justin robert rubles on here justin robert. ah yes professor a-hole bring him Pro- in <laughs> professor bring in professor a-hole mm. is to defend his thesis i would like to hear what he both. has to say you know, saying on Twitter, they need to count up all the time it takes for these uh, candidates to walk with their microphones from their little stools out to the front. Uh, it's yeah. very inefficient. Is it? Yeah. Huh. No, sure. You know what I'm saying? Know. Like, they're always worried about running out of time. They're so little, so little, so little. Oh, my God. Why don't you guys count up that time and use it? Yeah, man. What the on, H? Man. Why, don't you, why don't you pull out <laughs> Superman 3 and collect all the half seconds remaining? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Superman 3. We not remind anyone that that ever existed. Yeah, you know, you say that, but uh, I find it to be one of the more irrationally maligned. Because, I mean, keep in mind, Superman 4 was a thing. A thing that happened. Yeah, it was, it was real bad. Occurred. Yeah, you make, a, you make a point. But 
I just don't think Richard Pryor belongs in anything that isn't Brewster's Millions. Yeah, uh, well, okay, Brewster's Millions, Millions was amazing. Yeah, John Candy in there, so you know. Yeah. Points. This was owned by Johnny Bench. <coughs> <coughs> I will try. Oh, I have a cough switch, <laughs> and I will try to use it liberally because my stupid cough won't go away. There we go. We gotta we gotta start setting up the Justin Robert Young. Um, oh, he's there in the twit hoo ha, is he? Well, uh, he was at one with his point. Romney. Oh, this is just a repeating gif. Or this something. is yeah, it's 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 a gif of uh, it's a gif of him clapping to his own gif of him clapping. Fantastic. Like, those are those are separate instances. You can tell he's wearing different shirts there. Good lord! Woo. I was. I, I hope he shows up with his swath of gray hair around his ear so he can uh, show his his uh, Romney support tonight. I think that would be great. <laughs> is, is, is that what it is? It's wearing like gang colors. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> He's going to represent. I like that. He's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> All right. Let me see. There we go. We'll throw that on there. See, I like the fact that the uh, uh, that I finally found the right resolution to where the chat room looks good and clear, but I don't yeah, like the fact it. that when I do this, you can't really read them. So that's a yeah. bummer. Still not horrible, though. So get this. Check this out. Carl yep. in the chat room saying, who taught Penny to say booty? Get ready to have your brains explode the back of your skull, Carl. I ain't Penny. That's <laughs> that's Josie. That's this little girl. G T F O. She long gone. That's that's Josie's the new Penny, and yeah. and little unnamed Bobo Brushwood is the new Josie, I guess. Mm. Yeah, right. Crazy. That one you just saws off to college already. So, wait. Beef has a brilliant idea. Beef may be the smartest person who ever lived in the entire world. Let me do text. We'll bump it up to 16. Okay. I'll believe anyone who says beef. Look at that. Oh, wow. Explain. Where's your God now? (laughs) Yeah, that's awesome. Do it in the, do the four up. Let's see how it looks. (laughs) All right. (laughs) I bet it's readable. All right, so there's that. And then there's that's the four up. Look at that. I can read it. It's readable. Yeah. It's like my own little retina display. Smart, smartest people on earth. Fantastic. How do you resist the urge to just do the Bane voice at all times? I want to do it now, Brian. <laughs> my frustration with the debate rises. Your shitty city is yours. <laughs> Oh, we're on Twitter. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> when the debate is finished, then you have my permission to vote. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Remember John Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Remember John Candy, too. <laughs> it's weird. I was watching Warrior, where he plays a UFC fighter. Yeah, uh, Tom wait, wait, Hardy does. Wait, who, who uh, John Candy does? No, John's <laughs> it's Tom amazing. Hardy. You know, Bane, America's Bane. He, uh, yes. He's in this movie, and he talks just normal. But you still hear hints of it, and it's oh. it's really disconcerting. It's kind of hard to watch him now. Amazing, He's all the time. Yeah, amazing. Ben Franklin in the chat room says, "I can't wait for the NSFW where Scam School Brian is waiting anxiously, unshaven, then waiting for Penny to get home." Mm. How do you do? You have girls or boys? What do you got? I have two girls and a son, so I have I have a little bit of both. So you know, you know, we got two girls and we got another girl on the yeah. way. So, you're about to go. You're about to go zone defense, dude. I know that's that's what my friend. Uh, uh, why can I not remember his name right now? Nexus underscore six. Wow, how sad is that that you space on someone's actual name, Colin Smiley? <laughs> <laughs> but you know his, you know his gamer tag. Yeah, you know his online stuff, but you know his freaking avatar, but you don't know his face. Yeah, um, yeah, that's. And I'm, I'm. By the way, congratulations! I'm stoked for you. That's great. Oh, dude, I'm. I'm very excited. As well, as well. What <clears throat> take two? I'm Thir- totally stoked as well. Thank you. Third is a girl or boy or do you know? It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, girl, dude. Three for man. Look at you. We actually have a tentative name all picked out, but that's all up in the air. We don't know if uh, if that's actually going to happen. Oh, right. uh, hang on, real quick. I just realized that unlike most NSFW episodes, I did not think for one minute about what. The opening video for this week should be. Uh, oh. Wow, that's unlike me. Uh, you guys, what do you got? Good Lord, man. Send me, send me a, while I try to reach Justin please, Robert Young. Please make it totally non Gundam style related. Oh please. my God, dude. No, we wrote off Gun. It's, it's so funny because we've got that, that DJ syndrome where it's like as quickly as we embrace something, we set fire to it and we're done yep. with it. Yep. Modern day internet times, man. 
Yeah, I, I, I've had it, and I'm I am dreading Halloween night because about I'm guessing hundreds of children will be dressed as that dude. Yeah, but it's like the only reason that they're that long is because or that behind is because they couldn't go to like Dragon Con or whatever. Dragon Con was about the height of when that was happening. Yeah, hey, that speaking was of which, when is when is Nerdtacular this year? Uh, we're still picking dates, but it's probably somewhere in the uh, late June, early July is the plan. Hold on, there's a shadowy figure on, about. And he's got his speakers on. What? Oh, dude, I'm wearing the wrong T-shirt. I should totally have had. What's his shirt? Oh, it's his. Uh, this is a da- oh, by the way, did him. you did you ever see what a hit your video was at? Uh, I did. Dragon I Con? watched that. That video made me happy. Um, it made us extremely happy. Because, <laughs> you know, honestly, dude, I got to tell you, Brian, while I was making it, I thought to myself, this is this is just shite. Like, I, this I thought is you were going to confess thing. like I was high as a kite when I was making that. <laughs> I was. I was free basin and free balling. It was amazing. I was baked, man. <laughs> I couldn't see left or right, but yeah, it was lots of fun. And I would, uh, I would yeah, Jer- I, don't, Jer- I don't regret it. Jerbimus Prime. Yo. Hey, man. Where are what you? Up? Where are you at? Kansas City. Wait, so you're on the Google Fiber. How come your signal's so crappy? Uh, I'm not on the Google Fiber. I wish I were on the Google Fiber or I would... Uh, I would be Stream Master J. That's what they would call me. <laughs> Stream Master J. I like that. Uh, yeah. All right. Do you got um, um, Hoop Master Pete? Do you have a suggestion for a opening video? You know, it ought to be kind of uh, viral, uh, and uh, you know, be interesting to the folks. A little bit and relevant to our interests. relevant. Sure. Yeah. What's that new lady that sings real bad? Hold on. Uh, oh, wait. No, this is way good. Uh, bad bad lip reading did a good one, but it's... it. Uh, you know what? This is actually not bad because it would be relevant to our interests. Hmm. All right. How long do we want to get? Oh, the though? debate thing? Yeah, the Eye of the Sparrow was one of their better ones, I thought. That was amazing. That was very funny. So, uh, real quicksies. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to turn into a slap fight. This has got great. What do you, oh, yeah, are you debate? watching it right now? Yeah, it's still going on. It's got some energy, man. What are they saying about it? Uh, uh, well, I mean, the debate itself, Obama looks a lot better than he did the first debate, certainly. Um, probably the biggest thing that's going to be replayed was there was a, a thing on Libya where... Uh, uh, Obama said that about the Libyan thing, uh, that he called it an act of terror on day one. Uh, Mitt Romney challenged him on that and said that uh, he didn't call it an act of terror. And then Candy Crowley said that he had. Uh, oh, it's really, it's one of those classic, like, are we on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, so make sure to curse a whole so, bunch. So you yeah. can win. It's one of those classic kind of, like, awesome political semantics arguments because like he used the term active terror in saying that no active terror would ever shake our resolve, but referred to the act itself. Oh, so both win, both get to totally. Well, no, because Obama scored points in the moment that, uh, Candy Crowley corrected, uh, Romney and Obama said, say it a little louder, Candy. And everybody, uh, everybody went crazy on Twitter and everything. Everything. Although now it looks like she's standing up, or maybe she's just really tall. Maybe she's just. I'll tell you what, Candy Crowley drafted as an O lineman. Like, and I don't mean that to be mean. She's changing that that uh, that freaking diaper they got to wear because they sit there for freaking 90 minutes, dude. They do. Yeah, they're up there peeing themselves. Come on now. (laughs) They got got a stadium pal, all three of them. They got a little bag tied around their ankle, a little tube. Man, I'll tell you what, you kind of just blew my mind, actually. Uh, uh, there was a story I heard that, I don't know if it's true, but that, um, what the, uh, what almost happened out of my mouth? <laughs> um, Edward, fail your hands. This is in the spirit of. Hold me. Nope, 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 nope. That is a failure hand, sir. Good Lord. I apologize. All of us apologize uh, for that. 
I don't know. I don't know if I can come back from it. That's it's not evident. Hey, do you realize it was two years ago this very month, possibly on this very day, that we first uh, did NS or NPRSFW, the birth of the fabulous F Dog. Are you kidding me? The F Dog movement. That was two. That was two years ago. I think it may have been. Wow. I'm genuinely blown away by that. That doesn't feel like two years ago at all. Yeah, man. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Two years ago, people in the chat room celebrating by uh, shouting their trademark. Yeah, for dog. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I guess we've got an open video. I don't know how, how far in the eye of the sparrow do you want to go? So you want to just start somewhere in the middle? Uh. I'll let you even start at the Jim Lehrer part where he starts singing the Eye of the Sparrow thing. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. I could go higher and you could rotate my arm and send me. Just while you're gone. Bef- yeah, right there, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the part. Oh, let me- I don't want to touch sandpaper. I like the whiz. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I'd like the whiz. Right. Oh my god! You have no like idea, Scott, how excited we are to have you back on the show. It's good Thanks, times. It's Always good times. On. It's been too long. Okay, or just long enough, probably. So <laughs> let's get ready to let's get ready to do a podcast. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I have end of the night song. Night song. Hey, have you been watching the new uh, season of Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Uh, no, I'm I'm actually behind about half a season, but I do love that show. It's a good show. Yeah, my wife and I are suitably hooked. We like it a lot, <laughs> and we like that guy. I like the Justin's really <laughs> on that show. He's yeah, Charlie Charlie Kelly. Yeah, he's great on Charlie that man. Kelly. I don't even, even look like him. He's just, so overrated. If you listen to them side by side, they are the same. It's freaky yeah. person. There's no question about it. But he's like De Niro. He just gets into I, that he, character. He almost becomes him. It's amazing. All right. So wait, colloquy. Um, now I guess I deleted colloquy, or no, I updated it, and then I deleted it because it was useless. And now I can't get to the chat room. Where can I get? I guess I can just go to nsfwshow.com, right? They have the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, chatrealm.us slash 10. Have, have the debates finished? Can we tell people to seriously get off their butts and do something right now? Now? No, no, they're still talking. I guess, That's I guess this is the last out. minute, though. All right. Last time I checked, there were, uh, there were four videos. Wait, we're up to 10. Hold on. Let me actually, I'm, uh, there's actually one. There's a couple I've got on my Gmail that I've been holding in my pocket. I was waiting. There's one called The Power of Political Tweets. That looks promising. Let's see if this is still happening. Are you, are you very political? have quadrupled the rate of regulation. Sorry, I'll turn him off. No, um, my, my. I am not very partisan political, but I absolutely love the process itself. See, this is now, do you love it like in a detached, uh, the world's on fire, we're just enjoying the football game kind of way or in some kind of like, I believe this can make a difference and we all need to get passionate about it kind of way? Um, a little from both columns. I get that. I get the first way like that kind of detached internet snarky way yeah. when I start to feel like everything is going to crap and nobody wants to talk about real issues. So I start leaning on that as a crutch, kind of like my little comfort zone. Yeah. That's why I watch the daily show. Cause you can watch insane things and laugh, <coughs> but I am also a big proponent of like actually doing something in there and like making a difference if you can and like changing things to make them work and that. So I, I I realize I sound like I'm straddling a fence so hard that I that my penis is ruined, but I'm just I'm just saying I'm I am a bit of both sides of that of that scenario. Dude, sure. I do a good job. Like Justin is pure dead inside. Like there's nothing but the joy no, of watching the world. But, well, because it's accurate. <laughs> uh, the uh, but but like me, like I, I love you. 
<laughs> you know I, why, dude, Brian? It's because you and I have kids. It makes a difference. It really it, does. Well, make a it messes you up because you start to think about like what what things should be or whatever. Like I do a good job of just talking shop, and we'll 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 talk about armchair quarterbacking, how stuff's going, and then every yeah. so often I'll just get like really mad at how broken and corrupt our system is. Like, yeah, yeah, I do the same. That's totally me. And then I go back to making fun of it. Uh, so. Yeah. Here's my thing about politics is that it's stupid and ugly and dumb and it's unnecessarily cruel to almost everybody involved, deceitful, uh, bitter and angry. And it is not as bad as actually running the country. It is an <laughs> accurate uh, a, a presidential election is all those things and an accurate job interview for, for what the, the very specific job that the president has to do. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, now they're now they're doing their final things, and I think that they're going to battle rap. <laughs> oh, I, would love, I would love that. Gonna, uh, you know, here in Austin, they used to do something called Spite Club at the Velveeta Room every Wednesday night, where cool. they would have two people in their jobs. There were three rounds. Like one was, uh, one was like a, uh, you know, like a like I don't know, like a your mama's so you know back and forth or whatever. Uh, yeah. and then the, the, uh, I shoot, I don't remember the second round, but the third round was total freestyle. Oh no, there was a music round and then there was a freestyle round, but like, uh, people would, people would go into karaoke booths to record parody songs. They had written just to trash the other comic. Uh, that is I'm, just, awesome. I'm just happy to hear there's a place that remains, it continues to have the name, the Velveeta club. That's all I got from that. The I'm Velveeta saying. room. Yeah. Yeah, the Velveeta room. That's it's great. It's very cheesy. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I got rid of the double complete. <laughs> the Velveeta room is yours. Yeah, is, yeah, the Take it back. Put your nachos in the Velveeta room. When you cease laughing, you have my permission to leave after visiting the buffet. You got them, uh, dumbasses. <laughs> KGB434 asks, has the Feplic... The feckless crap weasel and the guy with the stick up his ass stop debating. <laughs> Wait, uh, are, are they, is he talking about us or talking about the show? Nobody knows, Brian. Nobody knows. No one knows. <laughs> Chat room thinks I'm drinking wine. No, this is Dr. Pepper in a wine glass. Don't ask me. My I, wife I just handed it to me. I can't decide which I would respect more. That being <laughs> a lie or that being the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. But if it's the truth, why did you why did you disavow I, them? I even said leave the bottle and look, she did. Right there. <sighs> it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> why don't you smoke a clove cigarette that's all hand rolled <laughs> next? One of those e-cigarettes. I'll do one of those. Here you go. Hand roll cloves. That's Scott mm. Johnson's first rap album. <laughs> That's right. Gotta grow my tail back. I'll tell you. So what, what did you what did you have to get around as we keep We were gonna go we were hours? somebody's got a house they want us to look at and I I canceled. We had a huge rainstorm, so it kinda helped my excuse. I was like, dude, I don't want to come out there in the rain and my agent said, Don't worry about it, we'll reschedule, so it was fine. I kinda didn't so wait, are you selling you guys your house? The you're buying a house. Uh, we're looking at one to potentially buy, but we're not. We're in no rush. We're just the, apparently this is some deal, and it's got huge studio space which I could use and things like that. So we, I, I, I hold no real hope that it's much, but we're still going to go look at it. Some short sale. So you're looking, you're looking at possibly purchase, purchasing Frog Manor. Yeah, Frog Manor, exactly. Pants Manor, come on. Pants Manor. We're going to focus pants on manor. the pants. We're, we're dropping the frog. It's all pants. Can you make a? Uh, can you drop in the frog? <laughs> Listen, we had uh, we had a focus group, and they all had dials, and we made our pitches, and they turned it either to frog or pants, and it turns out pants won. Pants yeah, is pants 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 always it's all that. In fact, as a matter of fact, we go to Candy Listen. Crawley. Special report. Pants is where it's at. Back to you, Bob. <laughs> Everybody's got pants, Bry. How many people got a frog on it right now? Mm. I'm waiting to see your hand go up. <laughs> This is a pretty good Obama voice you do there. <laughs> is that racist? I don't know. A little bit. Oh, the little Obama bit. voice is, uh, well, Brian. <laughs> thing is, you have to think about pants. <laughs> think about pants. Nothing about frogs. Just going to say, Something. I met with Senator John Boehner once about frogs. 
He said, never seen a frog in his entire life. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pretty good. He's sound like more like the SNL dude, whatever. It is. I can't remember his name. Uh, apparently, there's a very good SNL uh, iPhone 5 parody of some variety. Oh, I did not think it was funny. And it's not that I'm a fanboy at all. In fact, it's really hard to even argue this. I actually, I'm just purely talking about the comedic content. I think we all flip out about stuff that's nerdy or tech based and we all go, oh, mainstream giving us cred. And we watch it and we think that's great just because of those factors. I watched it. I didn't think it was funny at all. It's just yeah. not funny. I wasn't laughing. Yeah. Wait, wait, so nothing well, creative. I'd watch it not now. Really, but, not yeah. really. I mean, it was okay. The, the, actually, the funny thing is the message of it was actually a pretty decent point. But I just, if you're going on laughs alone, I didn't, I'm never, maybe it was, it was oversold to me. Everybody on the internet was like, dude, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's amazing. And I just thought it was kind of average at best. It reminded me of like one of those end of show SNL skits where they've just uh, just like, dude, get off the air already. We're done. I not funny anymore, have to confess thing. something. I think it I may think, have been. Monkey X has my, my, my point of view on it that I, I, I thought that maybe it's just that uh, I thought that uh, Christina Applegate, who hosted the Tech Talk show, bore a striking resemblance to Veronica Belmont. Everybody's saying that. That, and that, if, that may be, but she uh, bangs is all you really had to work on there. So I don't know. Could be. Like part of yeah. it, part of me was like, oh, I want to go see what everyone's talking about. V's on, you know, everyone's telling her that she looks like her. And I fired it up and I was like, well, I, I guess they get the bangs, but none of the affectations are, and stuff were like lifted. I mean, was it supposed yeah, to be? Unless you dropped a Mr. Uh, Little Jeans reference, like what would you do that would make me <laughs> like, well, that's Veronica Belmont. <laughs> we'll have her like um I don't know what does V do like she'll she'll get irritated with a question like if <laughs> nerdtacular you can get her with the wrong question and she'll she'll swear so that would have been nice um wait I don't know I just oh, didn't okay. see it hold on right as Justin called I was about to ask you when nerdtacular was this year because I wanted to right now uh ladies and gentlemen right now before all of you I Brian Brushwood joined uh by my co-host. Justin Robert Young, uh, we would like to announce for the first time ever our candidacy for Nerdtacular 2013. That's right. All right. So I'll tell you, um, we thought we had dates locked, but now we're shifting them around based on some stuff that came up. But anyway, we, we are currently looking at somewhere at the end of June, early July at the latest. That's the plan. And by end of June, I mean after the 23rd where I know you're locked into something. Am I locked right. into something on the door? You told me you had something going on back east that you couldn't. That was last anything. year. That was a year ago. I, I, I call into question the wisdom. Yeah. Is, is Scott Johnson too old to serve? Mr. I, President, I you know, your time's up. I need to talk to the <laughs> ugly man with the gray hair <laughs> okay, in Kansas right. City. Go for ahead. A minute. <laughs> Kansas, um, no, Kansas I think, City, uh, you're on the line. Last time I was on Sorry, for something. Oh, for the movie draft, like not over, long ago. You, you said to me, to make sure it's not the 23rd, you said. Uh, yeah. Well, well, I know that I did, uh, in June, June 23rd of this year, I was at PortCon, May, and that was booked like way before we had talked about doing Nerdtacular, but I don't think they are, I don't think they're in conflict. Oh, no, that was year. it. PortCon. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think were... they're in, I don't think they're in conflict this year. Oh, well then maybe it doesn't matter. Unless but it's got to shift dates back. It'll be right around there is the plan. And we're just, we're just getting it, but we should know in the next week or so, cause we've got the stuff's moving. People are shaking. Right. Little, little people happens. are shaking. Just like people are apoplectic. Hey, I can tell you right well, now, the big the plan is. Of course, unless I'm, I'm going to be in because I'm on a uh, two shows on the Frog Pants Network with between <laughs> FSL tonight and and uh, who's the boss? That's yeah. right. He's got two uh, two shows. Just cleaning up in the ratings. Um, just rocking them every night. What am I saying? Oh, Mark, I did. My, so here's the one thing. Here's the cool thing. So if I have my druthers and it looks like it's going to happen, we are going to be uh, reserving a, this sounds way more rustic than it is, but a mountain lodge that's like, you know, full-blown hotel with all the amenities uh, on the edge of a mountain up in a place called Snowbird where we will have access to eight restaurants all within walking distance of each other, all out there nestled in this little valley in this canyon. Uh, this is amazing freaking place with all the room we could ever want, plus some. And amazing hotel rooms right there in the place for like an incredible rate if I have my way. And it's going to be radski. So I'm totally stoked about it. It's going to be really good. And it's an like incredible rate if they kidnap their family. 
Yeah, no. I mean, it's it's literally ten minutes from the city. You can drive, or it's like eight miles up the canyon. It's nothing. And there's no dirt roads uh, or any of that kind of crap. It's here. just awesome. Uh, Scott Johnson, I'm here to ask uh, ask you the hard questions. I'm like Candy Crowley tonight. Uh, mm. Will this mountain lodge include an elevator full of blood? Yes or yes. no? Yes, yeah, I can I can tell you that. I mean, my candidate won't tell you this, but I'll tell you. It will have blood. There will be blood. And uh, what else? Uh, there's escalators. There'll be a, a good amount of blood on those. Um, the bathrooms are really clean. And um, it's really nice. It's a ski resort, but in the summer, it's a summer resort. So when we go up there, if it's in June, while the valley's having like 85, 90, we'll be up there in like 72 degree weather. And we're only eight miles up the thing. It's going to be insane. Insane. I got two words for you, Scotty. Pants off. That's what old Jerbs is going to be into. No pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this uh, this bad biatch on the road. This dog and pony show. Uh, let's uh, get this funky circus into gear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, screw it. Might as well do a show. Uh, but I'm not doing a a a clap bit because I have to be in studio to do a clap bit so I can add to the clap every week. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's not I'll clapception. Sit. It's clap outside uh, clap outception. You got your Terrible. local recording running, Brian? That's the old clap trap. You got right, your everyone. local recording running, Brian? Uh, I am right. recording locally. I actually have been. Should I restart it? No, no, that's good. No, just make sure because that's the one we'll, Tony will want to use. All right, all right. Here John! we go. I just want to say hi Hey, man, I haven't talked to you in a very long time. I hope you're doing well. John. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is your twit. Take back your city. You have my permission to stop recording when the show is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Are you ready? Let's do yeah. this. Let me kill this. By the way, last chance, and I mean this, I mean this, we could use like five more submissions at chatrealm.us slash 10. You've seen the debates. I'm sure you got something witty to say or do about it. As you know, we're not going to harp on you for being a bad person. We may do that, actually. But we still want you guys to submit your 10-second film festivals. Go to chatrealm.us slash 10, and it is go time. We waited on all of you. And here we go. Good. Now say the first thing that pops into your brain.